welcome back to another episode of the AAR. Uh, this is going to be the final AAR. So, we're ready for that, I guess. And so, I guess we're going to go back to watching uh, what happened with this tank from the previous AAR. I told you that I'd definitely let you see what happened. It looks like they missed with a grenade. Hopefully, oh crap. I guess we're not going to be able to see that. So, they tossed a grenade and it missed. I guess they were trying to assault the tank and now the tank has retreated backward. That is one very lucky tank. Now this tank here or these tanks are currently approaching the victory point or the victory square here at the crossroads and so I'm desperately trying to set up a very minute infantry defense and hopefully that'll work. I'm going to move that Panzer Shrek team up and let's see here checking out the bocage gonna get this uh, command team up and I'm gonna have this panther turn around now this was one of the most dangerous things I did I'm gonna have him slowly turn around and slowly move up. Hopefully he'll avoid being in the line of fire of that 76 millimeter tank over there in the corner. And you can see I'm just moving the waypoints around. And I'm checking line of sight. And let's see here, yep, I'm going to have to put them right up there just to be able to see down that road. Which is really dangerous because it looks like the best method for me to do that is going to be putting a fire arc down that road. And I'm going to actually make them go quick. Over here, we need this Panzer Shrek team to take out this. backing up. He's doing exactly what I don't want. Oh dear. Is he gonna get the... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh and another hit. And he's still up. Alright. That is one very lucky game. Panther firing at a immobilized tank over there. me, I'm just desperately hoping that this tank is going to get stopped. Oh, looks like we stopped the other one. And that's really dangerous for any tank to do. And to go near my troops like that, he's going to get close assault with the grenades. And that, I guess, is an abstraction in this game. So his tracks are down. He's mobilized. Which is what will happen if you drive a tank right next to him. Now the panther is moving up. 
He's still alive? Wow. Was I lucky or what? So... Let's see here. There is massive damage going on over there. There's a bunch of smoke grenades, which is good. It's shielding my infantry from any assault from the front. And this tank is now behind the building and is in a perfect position to just reverse up that hill and take out the Panther, which would be catastrophic because that is not what happened historically. The, uh, I believe Barkman's Panther was immobilized but it was not actually destroyed. And that 76 millimeter from the rear will destroy that panther. So it's up to the infantry again to do what they've done best for this entire playthrough, and that is to take out some more tanks for me, please. So I'm just trying to find line of sight for that panther shark team. And he did what exactly what I thought he would do. He's backing up the hill. That tank over there has been destroyed or abandoned, and now the tank crew are jumping up right into the line of fire on my troops. And how scary is that? Oh dear. He's going to get a shot on is we gonna get a shot? No. In fact, luckily for me, the AI was incapable or not capable of getting a shot off because he was busy driving and reversing. He's probably panicked. So actually, he is now lining himself up with the building between me and the Panther, which luckily will allow me to turn this Panther around and present the front armor to that 76 and the turret. So I'm actually just going to have him just turn around without driving because if he does he might end up going into the line of sight of that 76 millimeter tank and that gun and I don't want to see him getting destroyed. Looks like there's infantry on that hill. I'm gonna move my troops up to these this bocage and try and eliminate or suppress those troops on the hill that are firing against my troops on the other flank. And I'm moving this <laughs> Panzer Strike team to hunt and find me this tank. Hopefully they'll be quick about it. I'm going to have them do a hunt command when they get near the barn. I need these troops to hurry up and get out. These flanking troops did not bode so well against the MG team. And now I'm just checking on what I have left. I have barely any anti-tank stuff for Panzerfaust and Panzerstrucks over here. I do have some grenades left, luckily. But I prefer not to have to close assault another tank. I'm gonna move that Panzerstruck team with this very few shots. And I definitely doubted myself when it came to this tank surviving. So because of that turn, the speed is miserable. And now once again, he actually presented himself, I believe, right here. 
unbeknownst to me. I figured he was still gonna be okay. Oh dear. The tank's backing up the hill. And we're out of line of sight again. I definitely believe that luck played an enormous role right there. Not This is the final minute. And so just checking out everything that happened. Looks like the Panther will make it. Right now he's turned around. He's scanning. And so it looks like my team saw him perfectly and that was a perfect shot about ready to happen total victory and wow 14 tanks the Americans lost I would consider that a total victory no matter what my losses were 14 tanks for no tanks is always a good deal and so I'm just surprised that this team didn't actually take out that Sherman and I guess I figured out why here in just a second it had pulled out of the target arc ever so slightly that the team was no longer aiming at it but that's okay because on the next turn I would have had them on a target command and they most likely would have hit it so that's it folks just showing uh showing you casualties that were inflicted by some of the teams right now on both sides and so none there's some he definitely got some guys wow my infantry definitely were the winners here the panther um... he did pretty good barkman did really well he didn't take out all the tanks and that's actually probably the best for how you play this scenario is not to have the tank try and take out all the tanks have your infantry do it and with the bacage and stuff like that you can definitely have a bit of an easier time doing something like that and just showing you some more that half track was the half tracks were definitely a huge danger to actually leaving that panther over there anyways because of the uh, infantry that were dismounting and preparing to assault so it was probably best that I actually reversed him out of there so now it would appear that I'm just going through all my units to see who uh, inflicted what. Looks like I'm just about done here. So the final tally, German army total victory. huge losses for the Americans and thank you for watching everyone